Oceans cover around 71% of the Earth's surface, and us humans despite all of the advancements in the means of travel and technology, have only been able to explore around 5% of the oceans. This leaves a huge 95% of ocean space filled with surprises and mysteries of all sorts, that's hidden from humans. Historically, some of the largest, frightening and some of the most fascinating creatures have been found in the oceans. There are tales of ancient pirates encountering giant creatures that would decimate the entire ships, and then there are modern day explorers witnessing strange phenomena, allegedly haunted ruins of ancient ships and strange creatures that could not be explained by modern day science. Today we take a look at 5 ocean mysteries. The HMS Dudley's Sea Serpent There have been many claims of sightings of sea serpents. Most of these claims lack authenticity and are easily dismissed. However, when the claims is made by the captain and a crew of a naval ship, it's hard to dismiss. In August of 1848, a British ship named HMS Dudley's which was part of the Royal Navy, were sailing in the South Atlantic Ocean when the captain and crew saw something only heard in ancient stories. The captain and his crew saw a giant sea serpent swimming along the vessel. The giant beast was around 60 feet in length and had its head raised around 4 feet above the surface of the water. The sea serpent continued to swim along the vessel for around 20 minutes, and then it passed the naval ship and then disappeared into the ocean. The captain reported the sea serpent was so close to the ship, that had it been an acquaintance of his he would have easily recognised him. According to one of the crew members, the sea serpent seemed to be a reptilian. This sighting was reported by the Times of London. Many researchers and historians have tried to unravel the mystery, but none have been successful. The appearance of the sea serpent as described by the captain and his crew members makes it a unique kind of beast that has not been reported in any other encounter. The Mystery of the Baltic Sea Anomaly Scientists have been baffled by an unknown 200 feet wide object that is lying under the Baltic Sea. In 2012, a Swedish explorer named Peter Lindbergh and his team discovered a huge spaceship like object. This is while they were running a sonar scan. Upon further investigation, the scientists found the object was around 140,000 years old, and it had been lying there since the Ice Age. This unknown object was named the Baltic Sea Anomaly, and to this day scientists are still trying to figure out what this huge object could be. Many attempts have been made to get better images of the Baltic Sea Anomaly, however none of the images that have been obtained so far, are able to tell us exactly what this object is. Some scientists believe that it could have been the wreckage of an ancient ship, and it's developed a round spaceship-like shape due to erosion over thousands of years. Some people have claimed it could be a top secret military technology that sunk, and could never be retrieved simply because of the high cost. Not surprisingly, many theorists have also jumped in and claimed this to be a crashed alien spaceship. Scientists are continuously making efforts to get to the truth of the Baltic Sea anomaly, and hopefully we'll know the truth of this mysterious object within a decade or so. The Haunted RMS Queen Mary RMS Queen Mary that sailed from 1936 to 1967 has quite a history. This ship is permanently moored at the port of Long Beach in California, and it's considered to be one of the most haunted places in the world. The construction of Queen Mary began in 1930 in Scotland, but its construction was cancelled due to the Great Depression, only to be recommenced in 1934. Upon completion, Queen Mary was the second largest ship in the world. This ship was at first used as a passenger liner, then it was during World War II the ship was used for military purposes. This ship and its sister ship Queen Elizabeth were used for transporting troops. Both ships were painted grey at the time and were referred to as the Grey Goes. After the end of the war, Queen Mary was once again used as a passenger liner for another 20 years. And finally, it was retired and made into a museum. This is when the actual stories of the ship being haunted started surfacing. 
many of the workers and visitors had claimed to have experienced paranormal activity in the ship. There are many haunting stories associated with the Queen Mary. The most prominent one is the appearance of the ghost of a fireman who got crushed by one of the engine room doors. Some people have claimed to have seen the spirits of children crying in one part of the ship. It's claimed these spirits were the children that lived in the third class nursery of the ship, and they probably encountered a sad end, due to which their spirits now haunt the ship to this day. Another popular story is that of the phantom dog that suddenly appears out of nowhere, howls for his owner and then disappears. Today, RMS Queen Mary is one of the most famous allegedly haunted places in the world. It's a famous tourist attraction with restaurants, shops and a hotel. To this day, people claim to experience paranormal activity in the ship. The historical significance of the paranormal activity in the fact that this ship served for so long, and has so many stories of bravery, adventure and horror buried inside it, makes it one of the most mysterious vessels in the world. The Gulf of Mexico Shipwreck One of the top ocean mysteries that have baffled explorers is the allegedly cursed shipwreck in the Gulf of Mexico. In 2001, ExoMobil was laying a pipeline in the Gulf of Mexico when they found a 200-year-old shipwreck. Lying under the ocean at a depth of around 800 meters, the shipwreck immediately fascinated the marine archaeologists. In order to explore this newly discovered centuries-old shipwreck, a scientist named Brett Planuf started an expedition that was to finish the investigations within a year. He and his team tried to reach the ship and extract some of the artifacts in the shipwreck. They tried this twice, but they failed both times. What seemed to be a fairly simple task suddenly started to look nearly impossible. Brett made a third attempt this time using a remote-controlled submarine. However, things once again did not go well, and this time the hydraulic system of the submarine gave up. This was just after 30 minutes of being underwater. Once the issues was fixed, another attempt was made. This time the submarine was able to get close to the shipwreck. Watching the live footage from onboard cameras on the submarine, Brett noticed a large piece of wood near the bottom of the wreckage. But before he could investigate, the submarine's sonar failed, and to everyone's surprise, the camera zoom also failed. This left Brett and his team with no other option but to try and grab one of the copper sheets of the shipwreck. They did this using the robotic arms of the submarine. However, this also failed, and the submarine had to surface without any success. The next few years saw scientists make more attempts using advanced robotic submarines and other equipment in order to retrieve a part of the shipwreck, or at least some kind of artifact. Once again though, all these attempts failed. In fact, a couple of robotic submarines got lost in the water after getting out of control. All these failed attempts and mishaps have led many to believe the shipwreck is actually haunted, and maybe the ghosts and spirits residing in the shipwreck don't want any part of the ship or its artifacts removed. To this day, the shipwreck in the Gulf of Mexico is shrouded in mystery. Millions of manganese stone balls found on the ocean floor. Oceans are filled with untouchable mysteries, and the more the ocean is explored, the more unsolved mysteries seem to emerge. One such mystery was reported by scientists in 2015, when they were searching the ocean for deep sea creatures. A German research vessel on a mission to try and find some new creatures. A few hundred miles east of Barbados caught thousands of manganese balls in a mesh net. These balls were slightly larger than softballs. Surprised by the discovery, the scientists carried out further research in the area and sent a remote camera to the ocean floor. The footage the camera sent back was incredible. The ocean floor was littered with millions of manganese nodules of varying sizes. Some were as big as bowling balls. Colin Devy, who was the chief scientist for the expedition, said that he was surprised by the manganese nodules. He said it was very strange that these balls had such a perfect round shape. Scientists believe these manganese stone balls are millions of years old. Some believe these were formed by the natural process. 
However, the mystery of these manganese balls has given rise to many theories. Some people have claimed their origins to be from another planet or a star. It will most likely take quite a bit of time for scientists to unravel the mystery of these manganese balls with solid proof. So what do you think of these five ocean mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.